It was so strange to see my weird idea on film. I can't explain it. Just... <laughs> I just been on stage. So you were on the tape already. Oh, well, that. Oh, well. I made that up in my head. So what do you think about that tape? You think it was uh, what do you think the results of I think it was the greatest thing I ever thought of in my life. <laughs> Last year, uh, we did the, we did a, we did we did, we did, we did, we did the song. That's right. We sang the song. Right. As soon as, as soon as that was over, someone said, "How are you going to top that for next year?" So it haunted me all summer. And then all of a sudden in September, they said, "Oh, you're in charge of the whole conference." I go, Man, that's brutal. Now what am I going to do? So, in October, uh, uh, after the Survivor show was on, we finally took nine months to pick our logo. I said, I told Greg, I said, this, we're going to make something called Logo. So we're going to make a movie called Logo Survivor. I had no idea what that meant. I didn't. I had no clue. So we got to December. I go, I guess I better find out what that really means. You know? So I called up this friend of mine, and he does uh, films. And he made some little uh, films on the internet. And I said, Paul, I want to make this film. Oh, there's my giant stuff. Flying in my you. face. That's me. <laughs> what was it? A little nap. That's me. Okay, we're rolling. <laughs> okay. So December rolls around. So December rolls around. I said, I better figure out what this really means. I had no clue what making a movie meant at all. So my friend Paul, I know from doing improv for seven years at the Bay Area Theater Sports, uh, he says, uh, I, I said, can you make us a movie? I want to make a movie. So I called Logo Survivor. He goes, yeah, sure. So he came over, and I had an idea in my head what it was, and I had a vision. So we came over, and, and Greg and I and Amy, who's the uh, the director, we just brainstormed for about two hours, and then uh, we came up with some new things. And they came back a couple weeks later. We brainstormed for another two hours, and then uh, we had the we had the we had the system down how many logos we're going to use, and because all the logos in the movie are actual ones we almost picked. I had that impression. Yes. So the granite was what we had previous, and the other two we almost picked, and uh, so it was. Uh, uh, then they wrote the script, and in February we went up to the uh, Lake Chabot campground. It was freezing cold, you know, and uh, we just shot it in three days. We had to adjust. It was going to be a four-day shoot because people were flying. All the stars were going somewhere else, going to Germany for three weeks. We didn't have much time, so we squeezed down in the three days, and they really worked really hard, and uh, we got it all done. So... I'm going to tell the people in there, don't ask me that question. I know, tell them. you got an idea for next year's conference. No, no, I don't want any idea. No, I don't want any. No, that's the worst idea because that's how we end up with this logo thing. More, too many ideas, yes. Too many ideas, too many chefs. Exactly, exactly. So you have to do something totally contrary to this thing. Right. Something that'll just knock this socks off. I told him I was going to get Eminem and, and Elton John to show up and we'll have a riot. Great. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, this right. Is this <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. How am I going to top this? Have a riot. How's that? Anyway, so that's the story of how we came up. You know, my weird little idea, and it, I just, it was so strange to see my weird idea on film. I can't explain it. Just, yeah, yeah. It's just uh, so much fun. So much fun. Never do it again. I don't believe you. Oh no, I didn't say that. <laughs> Someone said we should do Saturn's Revenge next year. <laughs> she goes spicy. She goes spicy. So. Hold it, hold it. Let's quiet, please. I just want that laugh. Give me the laugh. Oh, the laugh. Well, that. <laughs> well, if you listen to the the, the 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 blooper thing at the end, where the pie hit the guy, hit him, hit Paul in the face, and the you can hear me laughing really loud in that. I hear you'll hear me. I'll be the loudest one. So, I almost fell on the I fell on the ground when he that thing fell, fell off his head. So. It's like it exploded off his head. Like someone had a, you know, like a, one of those bungee cords and the special effects thing go... And, you know, we couldn't have planned it any better. So, it was perfect. So that's the story of Logo Survivor. Right, so now we got it all covered. There we go. All right, guys. I still can't get you.